Wait, something's happening. Oh, what the hell? Look. What the? Men on a mission. Men on a mission. I mean, I'm just sitting by the pool. Corner, baby, corner. And then all of a sudden, boo pandemonium has erupted. <laughs> Look at oh, that. Yo, he took the on your pants. <laughs> oh, I'm going to hurt myself. Oh, there's there Bennett. Is. There's hey. a guy. Look, Bennett doesn't even sweat. He can't. His body doesn't allow him to sweat. Bennett is walking <laughs> on water. Look at that gorgeous right stride. He looks like a damn antelope striding in the <laughs> Like, I'm just going to go get her right now. I got this. <laughs> Let's go, man. He go. They're all coming back with items. I got my gift. Oh, a gift to Claire. The date's all about love languages with gifts. It's not really about monetary value. It's more about gestures where I know somebody's thinking about me when they're not around me. And I just want Claire to know that I love going out of my way for somebody that appreciates it. Let's see what we got here. Ooh. What you're holding is a chess piece. So the game of chess means a lot to me. It's something I've played with my younger brother and my dad my entire life. And it's especially important to me because the game of chess really got my younger brother through some really dark times in his life. And I gave you the queen. I'm gonna hold on and be your king hopefully one day. I love that. Yeah, yeah, no problem. Thank you. That baseball is from the last game that I ever played. And if you look, I actually wrote on it back in 2012. It says, don't complain, just figure it out. This is special. I'm lucky. These guys are sharing really personal stuff with me, and I can tell they put a lot of thought into the gifts. This is my favorite t-shirt. You can wear it as a nightgown or pajamas. It smells just like me. It smells good. It's not about the price tag on these things. A box in a box? Yeah, I always thought that half the fun of gifts was unwrapping them. Oh my god, this but. is... <laughs> it's about them putting a sincere effort into bringing something that is meaningful. Having dogs of my own, and I know, like, how important they are to you. That's some perfume for the puppies. Every single love language is different. You have to bring a different side of you out. And right now, it's gonna get real hot real fast. Next love language, physical touch. Obviously, we all are deprived of physical touch in quarantine. So this is a good love language that I was ready for. Quarantine did us dirty, man. That was too long, too long. The hardest part about this group date is just seeing other guys, hug her and stuff. That's completely brand new. Just in the same way that I'm trying to be overt in my expression of love and affection, like they are also. <laughs> Everybody's gonna hug, but not me. Let me do something that none of the other guys may do. Ooh, okay. A little tick. Oh, okay. I know who this is. I'm a big smell person, you guys. Claire smells amazing too, and I'm just very big on that as well. My stepmom drilled into me at 12 years old that uh, boys should smell good. It's really easy to do. Smell so good. <laughs> Maybe I was a stinky 12 year old someday. day. So from that day forward though, I've tried to smell good. It's crazy how I just met you guys and I could totally tell who's who. This is awesome. <laughs> Wait a minute. Now I'm throwing for a loop. <laughs> <laughs> I was excited for this, like to be able to obviously touch Claire. <laughs> my number one thing was just to make sure that she felt my strong presence. Big hand. Oh, I know this smell. <laughs> Watching Claire with Dale was definitely uncomfortable. It's touching on a deeper level. They kind of already have that connection, so I'm um, jealous. Thank you, sir. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. It was hard for me to hold back. But the number one thing I want to do is show her exactly how I feel without saying it. And Claire is making it extremely easy. How was that?
I mean, much needed after quarantine, I'll tell you that. <laughs>